Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Munga Restero. I will here. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a message for Scorpio placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Or if you happen to be cross watching for a Scorpio, you're welcome. Please remember that these messages are general, so only take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. If this message does not resonate with you, just leave it at the table. Okay. If you like uh, a reading based on your current energy, you can always book one with me. My information is in the description down below. I'm a Scorpio today. I'm going to start with a message from Spirit, and then we're going to take a look at what's going on in your uh, life currently, and um, what's your advice from Spirit, how to deal with this situation, and then we're going to take a look at your romantic life. So whatever the most important message that needs to come through, um, will come through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read from the um, guidebook here. Let's see what it's about. Okay, we have Wisdom Guide. Wisdom Guide is here to help you with taking in new information and teaching, whether you're taking courses, going back to school, or learning a new skill or craft. You will find that you're able to process and retain new information more, more easily. Wisdom Guides also help you to gain new insights and understanding through your intuitive channels, turning your knowledge into wisdom. Uh, so the Spirit Guides are telling you you are a very wise uh, person and um, at this time you might be gathering some information on learning new things and you'll find that these new things or these skills are coming really natural for you. This is something that comes just like a, uh, like a second hand for you. Um, and this knowledge could be uh, you being very intuitive or uh, you having a lot of knowledge about a subject, okay? So very beautiful energy here to start with. All right, let's see what your spirit guides want you to know at this time. Well, at least currently in your energy at this time. Let's see. energy at this time. So we have time to use not to lose. It's a that scary. And live right into the sky. All right, flight. Let it rise into the sky. Okay, so I feel like time is your, of your essence at this time, Scorpio. There's something you wanted to do that you might feel scared about. Not sure if to do it. Okay, the number eight or 13 could be significant. Um, here we also have flight let rise into the sky so um, some of you might be traveling uh, taking um, for some of you guys something um, some of you just are just gonna let uh, things fly okay just let things go and move on okay so let's see what um, this is about so let's get some clarifiers here your time to listen okay so it might be basically communicating to you okay there might be news coming your way and this is your time to listen isn't that scary this is something that you fear okay so fear is holding you back and flight now that you know you're on the right path here okay So if you worry about this, if you're in the right path, this has to do with something about overcoming some type of obstacles here, divine timing, your intuition, and expecting and expected here. Okay. 
Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We're missing. Generosity, okay. Somebody could be very uh, thankful for your services or the things that you do to help them out, okay. Uh, it says, I am generous and compassionate person who brings goodness into the world. The knowledge of a good deed done is a reward into itself, okay. So, this is about maybe you being generous with your time since we have time is to use, not to lose, and to listen, okay. To listen that uh, you being generous, <coughs> you know. Uh, it's, it's a good way for you to give back to others. Maybe this is the way you're showing love. Uh, of course, people, places, and things here as well. Then we have fear, and is it that scary? So let's figure out this. We have growth, okay? This is about maybe you growing, okay? Maybe spiritual growth here. I embrace the lessons of life. Every day is an opportunity to, impre uh, to improve. So this is about maybe you uh, releasing something uh, that you fear, okay, but by you doing that, uh, just for you guys are telling you, you know, it isn't really that scary, it's just, just gonna help you, these lessons in your life is gonna help you to grow, um, and learn from, uh, from your life, it's, it's, just, it's good for your soul, okay, on the right path, you see what is this energy about, we have criticism, Okay. Uh, I am able to take criticism on board and use it to improve. The opinions of others are just opinions. They cannot bring me down. So yeah, you might let fly, um, let things fly when it comes to people criticizing you. Okay, and uh, just learn to let it go. Know that you're in the right path, and then um, then nobody can bring you down. Okay, you, you you can accept it. You can listen to it, but it doesn't have to bring you down. Okay. All right, let's see what's coming for love for you. First, I just want to see how your angels are helping you at this time, okay? Let's, let's get some angels. Uh, cards here. See how your angels are helping you when it comes uh, to your timing and listen and your generosity here. Let's see. the empress fertility and fruitfulness assure peace between married couples okay so just for you guys are helping you in a situation that has to bring with uh maybe peace between married couples okay bringing peace into married couples here okay the empress came out and the word generous just came as in this card as well this has to be about your generosity here uh god father the generous okay the Empress. Fertility, fruitfulness, and a short peace between married couples. That's how just you guys are helping you here. Bringing peace to married couples. Alright, this one. Go. We have Eight of Pentacles. Intellectual talent provides knowledge, okay? Uh, you may have a talent that is going to give you a lot of knowledge. Okay? Work with this, okay? We have temperance. Reconciliation regains the favor of those who has offended, okay? There might be some type of reconciliation uh, of those who um, may feel offended by you or uh, that um, you feel offended by you, okay? Just be patient with temperance here. There might be some type of reconciliation here. You have criticism on the right path. Let's see. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, ritual ceremony can acquire all the treasures of heaven and earth. Okay, um, so this is about maybe um, somebody criticizing you about some type of ritual that you might have done. Okay, maybe you're into uh, magic and you know the occult here. Somebody might criticize you about that. Somebody might think that um, 
but this could be you uh, criticizing somebody about maybe some type of spell being done or something, okay? Interesting. All right. Let's see what's coming for love for you. Okay, we have twin flames. Okay, you could be dealing with a, um, a couple here that are twin flames. Okay, seeing jam balance, union, coupling, complementing each other here. Okay. Or this person could be your twin flame. Okay, let's see. We have seduction. Okay, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, there might be a third party interference in this relationship. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Okay, this has to be some type of commitment, some type of uh, partnership, some type of union as well. Uh, you might feel like there might be a third party involved in your situation, okay? But, um, yeah. Alright, let's see. What you should know about this thing, Dwayne? Let's do the message of love here. Let us see the in here. First go here. Unplug. Working less will help you strengthen this relationship. Okay, and then we have passion. Try something you've never done before. And here now. Your true love um, is already part of your life. So you already know who this person is. Okay, and there's a ring. And there's a lot of passion here, but you already know that um, this, there might be something there, okay? And then we have a system. Everything happens for a reason, okay? There might be a commitment um, or something, and just because I want you to accept that everything happens for a reason here, okay? You also have in the bottom of the way. The day, wait, the time is not quite right yet, okay? if you're wondering if um, you are on the right path but the timing is quite, it's not quite yet so I'm going to take this um, the delete um, messages here and see what is what is going on in this relationship for Scorpio alright so we have romances in the air but, uh, rose okay we also have wedge Someone is trying to come between you and a friend of something you want. That could be that third party interference. You're definitely dealing with that. somebody that is has a third party, okay? You have a four-leaf clover, great good fortune, okay? And fly, a period of ill and depression, okay? So um, I feel like um, there could be a period here of um somebody being sick uh or being in depression okay so if this is you or somebody that you know of i my i i'm sorry okay i know you, you guys will move forward from this i said that everything happens for a reason here but you do have great good fortune here so whatever it is that you do love is in your side so it's time for you to accept the situation and move on okay this might cause you a little bit of sadness with sliding here um, but I feel like this connection, even though it's, mm, it's here, I feel like there's something stopping you. There's somebody in the way, okay, or trying of oh, something that you want, okay? Definitely third party interference here. I'm so, so sorry, okay? So if this person could communicate with you, what would they say? The person you're here for, Scorpio, what would they say? Terrified. Mm 
I don't want to lose you. And then we have one more. I imagine you naked. So definitely, uh, whoever you hear for, that definitely um, will like you in your bed, for sure. Um, they don't want to lose you, but they're terrified of this connection, okay? Definitely, we have this weight uh, coming forward, two different decks, but I'm at the deck, okay? Wait and wait, so I can't make this up, okay? Time is quite not, not quite yet ready here. Let's see what is your advice from Drew, um, from your romance angels here when it comes to this love situation. Let's see what it is. Could be the one you could, you could have thought this this person could be the one okay you already met the romantic partner you seek you thought this was the the one um some type of deception okay somebody's wearing a false self max in this relation some type of deception that you don't see coming okay i think it's a third party interference here somebody's holding back okay and we also have separation okay time apart from your partners in the horizon okay so yeah, stay strong, Scorpio. Things will um, be better soon. You definitely have great good fortune here. Things are gonna work out for you in the end. It is time for you just to um, maybe believe a little bit more in yourself, okay? Somebody will show you who they really are. Believe them, okay? Somebody really shows you the way they are. Just believe that. It's very hard for somebody to change at this point. All right, let's see. What are the things? Uh, who is in your energy at this time, Scorpio? And the zodiac signs in your energy. All right, so you could be dating. Definitely Scorpio is here. And then you have Libra, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? All right, Scorpio. Let's see. What number you could be seeing? All right, you definitely will be seeing number 9, 9, 10, 10, which is completion, number um, 7, 7, okay, maybe number 17, maybe September 17 is going to be significant for some of you, uh, August, then August could be significant, August 19, um, you could also see the number 18 and 9, 9, which if you, you know, um, add that up is 18 as well so then definitely 18 18 you could be seeing as well 10 10 9 9 and um something about the month of august could be significant and the month of september as well huh? all right let's see what are the uh things you could be seeing in the next couple of days i can tell you this is your reading scorpio we have a cat, cat could be significant, okay. cat also signifies independence as well, we also have um, an amulet, okay, a protection amulet, let's see if you can see, like the evil eye, okay, we have a bee, so it's like working really, really hard in this love connection here, okay, somebody is somebody's working very really hard with this love convention being their independence and protection okay all right so these are the messages scorpio if you like this reading or this ring resonate with you make sure you hit the like button i really appreciate it um and um uh, like and share my content if you feel um um, guided to make sure you subscribe and, and hit that notification button so every time I post a review you get to see the reading and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next reading